Uh, I think we're almost through. Oh, there is a... Is that a body? Yep, there's a body on the track. That's something I thought I would never see in a Mario Kart. All right, look at him. Oh, we got a huge pile up. Okay, we got to somehow manage to get through this. Uh, this is cool. Oh, look, they're running through the intersection. That looks awesome. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, and yes, folks, your eyes are not deceiving you. That's Lightning McQueen, and we're playing Wreckfest. It's been a while since we played this game, and today we're going to be checking out the Bomb Shelter Pack. And yeah, it's a combination of really awesome cars and really awesome tracks. So we're going to jump right into the custom event. You know we have to play with Lightning McQueen to start off with, but we're going to move on to some of the other really cool stuff that they have in this pack. And yeah, check out some of these tracks. I think there's even like a space track. Uh, so there's Knoxville Raceway. That's a famous dirt oval. Uh, you've got Laguna, which I think might be Laguna Seca. That might also be a part of the very track pack too. I believe I have two. I think this is the one that's part of the bomb shelter. Uh, this is called WeatherTech Raceway, which is uh, the sponsor name for uh, Laguna Seca. But yeah, we've got stuff from Mario tracks to Monaco. Uh, it's gonna be insane. So if you guys are excited for some more Wreckfest, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And you know what? We gotta take this somewhere's fun. All right, so the first map we're checking out is called Outlaw Canyon X. All I know is that this has a bridge on it. And, uh, oh, dude, this actually looks really cool. Holy man. I feel like we're playing a cars game, except for we're gonna do horrible things to the cars. And they're gonna look really messed up here at the end. And oh, it's an immediate turn. Also, I feel like I'm extremely... Wait, what is that? Why does it sound like there's a jet going off? This map really confuses me. Like, I feel like this is like a part of Mad Max or something. This is cool. Uh, so is there a way to uh, maybe get the camera a little less close? There we go. That's a much better one there. So we're racing through here. Uh, I kind of want to take these on one of the Wreckfest tracks, like one of the really extreme ones, maybe Hellride or uh, maybe one of the short ovals. Uh, maybe a figure eight. Dude, this is cool looking though, and I'm really confused by this track. Oh, jeez. Okay, go this way. Uh, skid through here. Looks like we have a, uh, a crossover here. And Oh, there's the bridge. Okay, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Also, if you look at the mini map, a lot of the AI are just stopped. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is fine. Uh, I don't think I have extreme damage on it. I think it's set to realistic, so maybe they're just stuck there. But we're having a race, and oh, we just took out another car. <laughs> this looks stupid. Uh, wait, what the heck? Oh, that is terrifying. They're all on fire. Uh, what happened through here? I don't understand it. All right, move out the way. Maybe realistic damage is too sensitive for these cars. There's a chance that's a thing. Yeah, look at that. We're at 54% damage. Like, how is that a thing? Oh, these things would not survive a, uh, a figure eight, which you know we got to do that next. Uh, but yeah, uh, this uh, mod pack is really cool. Like I said, good combination of cars. Uh, got some really funky tracks, as you can see what we're racing at right now. But still very cool. Okay, this is going to be one of those race. Oh, no. Oh, wait, does he have damage? Oh, what is wrong with his face? Oh, that's kind of funny looking. I wonder how extreme the damage is on these. Like, can you really just crunch up the whole body? Uh, so this is going to be one of those races where we don't finish it because there's only like three cars going right now. Everybody died. Oh, this is a track blocker. On uh, Here, go through. Uh-oh. Uh, we got a bit of an issue, folks. I can't make it through this. Uh, uh, I'm at critical damage. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, we have messed Lightning McQueen up. Okay, let's see if we can get through here. Okay, yeah, we need to turn the damage down, and we need to go to something a little bit tighter as far as tracks. Okay, it is official. Lightning McQueen is the winner because everybody else is dead, so let's go. Wee! Oh! Oh, that's terrifying. Wow. Okay, well, we won. All right, so we are at Kingston Raceway. Now, I don't think this is actually part of the uh, the same track pack, but I wanted to do a figure eight real quick with normal damage. That way we can get a better representation as to how quickly these things can be destroyed. So, this is way too packed up, but it looks incredible. But yeah, we'll switch vehicles right after this. I don't want to focus only on the cars, even though it's got to be one of my favorite things to see in Wreckfest. Like, this is awesome. I always thought the NASCARs were cool, but I mean, come on. Uh, you got cars. Uh, they're like stock cars, except for they're 
lifelike? Wait, do these things feel pain? You know, I kind of feel sorry for these. Also, I don't know what happened. I feel like the AI is a little stupid today. Oh man, these things handle really good. I love the way they drift. Uh, this is cool. Oh, look, they're running through the intersection. That looks awesome. All right, we got ourselves a decent lead here. Oh, back through. Anybody gonna cross over again? Oh, it might be us. Oh, we got drilled. Okay, this is a lot better damage-wise. Uh, we're not completely totaling the car on one hit. We got nailed in the side. Yeah, these things seem to have a fairly sturdy, like, box. Like, they don't crumple quite as well as the uh, normal cars, but, I mean, do you really expect them to completely turn into cubes? I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Also, I can imagine the screams of all the, uh, the characters um, having nightmares right now. No, it's fine. All right, let's not imagine that. Uh, we are... Uh, actually, we're not winning by that far. I thought we had, like, a really big commanding lead, but we're only out by four seconds, which... Uh, one crash and it's over for us. All right, we're on lap four. Keep speeding through. I think the AI is now confused. They're just going everywhere now. Uh, it seems like they don't despawn or anything, like, when they get shoved off the track, so... They're just all over the infield here. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, now we have a 13 se That must have been like second place or something. Uh, 16 second lead. Uh, 17 second. By the way, I play with the expert difficulty as far as the AI. That doesn't mean a thing in a wreck fest when it comes to these destruction tracks. Like, I would understand maybe like a road course would be pretty challenging, but it's so random with the crashes on figure eights that... Yeah, you can get a lead of 20 seconds, and what is going on here? Okay, I'm so confused. You know what would have been really cool if they found a way somehow to get the uh, the eyeballs to blink and, like, look around? That would have been creepy and cool at the same time, and oh, we just killed another car. That was awesome. All right, turn it around. You know, I just thought of something. Do they actually hold, like, demolition derbies and figure eights in the Cars universe? Like, who would enter that? And do you have a chance to actually die? I don't know. These are things I've always asked myself about the Cars movie and kind of like how everything works. I also have a couple other questions, but I'm not going to talk about those. But anyways, let's keep going. Uh, we're lap eight. I uh, got almost a 30 second lead, so we really just have to putt and we'll be fine. Uh, there's quite a few cars on fire too. That's awesome. All right, we're on lap 10. Where is the finish line? I don't even know where it's at. Oh, there it is. I was a little confused there. And there we go. Lightning McQueen has come home in first place. Got a couple dings. Might need some uh, surgery after this. But we won. That was uh, pretty awesome. All right, so you're probably asking, well, what else is a part of this pack? So, of course, you got Lightning McQueen here. You've got uh, the GT40. This is an awesome-looking car. Uh, there's a 63 Stinger. Uh, you've got the Dirt Late model. I like the way this looks. Uh, I didn't expect to see something like this in Wreckfest. You've got one called the Formula, which... It's like a weird Formula One with like a complete canopy. Uh, it looks, actually, I don't think it is stubby. I think it's just the dome. I feel like we should use these for our next track. Uh, I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. So I told you guys it was gonna make sense. We're at Monaco. This is the 1979 version of it. Uh, this is gonna be intense because we have way too many Formula One, or I guess we're gonna call it the Formula car. There's way too many of these, and we're about to all stuff down in the first corner. Why are we starting three wide here? Uh, this doesn't even make sense. This is fine. All right, look at him. Oh, we got a huge pile up. Okay, we got to somehow manage to get through this. All right, we're clear. Dude, this actually looks really good, this track. Uh, I'm liking this. So, I'm not 100% familiar with the 79 layout of the uh, Monaco GP track. Uh, I know the modern one, so I'm assuming it's somewhat the same, maybe a couple different corners, maybe a little bit more dangerous because safety wasn't as big of a factor back then. Also, I'm getting completely uh, run over by everybody here. Uh, this is fine. Oh, somebody just went through the barrier. What the? He went through the barrier and flew back out. Uh, I've got one stuck to the top of me. Oh, and we've died in some of the uh, hairpins here. This is fine. Okay, we're in second place. That's a track blocker. There's no way they get through that. Oh, that's first place in the barrier. Uh, okay, we'll take that. Uh, let's at least complete a lap here. I want to come back around and see what the track looks like. But this is a cool track to see in Wreckfest. Like, I never thought we would see Monaco in here. And up, oh, ooh, blow through there. Okay, that was decent. Uh, probably could carry a little bit more speed. I wish the AI was a little bit better. I guess if you probably were to eliminate some AI, maybe bring it down to like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15. That'd be a little bit more reasonable, but I think the uh, the 24 on this track is a bit much. 
But of course, in real life, the uh, the grid's 20, and I think it used to be a little bit bigger a couple years ago. I don't know about in the 70s. I don't know how many cars they ran, but uh, I imagine it wasn't that many. All right, we just completed a lap. Yeah, I'm curious about that. I need to go look up, up some, like, Formula One facts from the 70s. How many cars did they start? Uh, also, there's a car on fire there. That's fine. Okay, we're going to cruise back up. Uh, this is Casino Corner. I, I think it's Casino Corner. It might be called something slightly different, but there's a casino on one side. Uh, coming through here. Got all the old nasty cigarette advertisements. Uh, okay. There is a track blocker up here. You can see it. Also, I like the whole fact that you can go through that barrier there. Okay, so... <laughs> How do we get through this? Uh, I think we can use the curb. Okay, watch out. Coming through. I got a race to win. Um, yeah. It's blocked. There's nothing we can do about this. Well, that was fun while it lasted. All right, we got to stop taking ourselves so serious here. Let's go to uh, Mario Kart tracks. Like, uh, I don't know. Let's go to Moo Moo Meadows. So as far as other cars, you do have some rally cars in here, which probably would be actually really great on this track. But there is... A Mario Kart. We have to use it. Check this out. Oh boy. I wonder how this thing handles. All right, let's switch the AI to just use those and let's get another race in. All right, here we go. There's a uh, fence post in my way. Uh, oh, oh, that looks incredible. Dude, this looks so good. Like the art style, like everything's there. It's not quite as bright as Mario Kart. Of course, I could change the weather a little bit and make it a little bit brighter. But hey, this is pretty good. This cart handles really good. Wait, can I just cut through the center here? I always try this on Mario Kart, but the grass slows you down quite a bit, so it's actually not a good idea. But hey, the AI seems a little bit more competent here. I mean, it is a fairly easy track. Hold on, let's use the outside. Do the boost pads work? Please tell me they work. Oh, okay, I don't know if that actually worked or not. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me go back. I don't want to fly off. Oh no, I got drilled. All right, so, oh, no, and we're flying. I'm missing one of my exhaust pipes. That's fine. Okay, we gotta start over again. So we are in 12th place. Do we think we can catch everybody? Oh, we got a lot of traffic. All right, let's shoot through the center. This is, oh, did it get me with the skip? No, okay, I'm still going. That's a bad idea. There's like a lip as soon as you hit the grass and it sends you airborne. I don't think that's actually worth it unless you get a really good landing. All right, we know not to go to the right up here. Okay, we are up to, wait. Oh no, we're in 24th place. Oh, it did catch me with the skip. You gotta be kidding me. All right, you know, let's go to another Mario Kart track. Okay, we switched to a little bit more extreme track. We're going to Yoshi's Valley. I don't think I can get disqualified here. So uh, two laps, let's keep it simple. Let's go for the win. Oh yes. I, I love that they've added this. I love the track selection. Uh, too bad we don't have a rainbow road. We used to have one, it was a different mod, but I think it was like broken or something. Uh, I don't think it works anymore. Oh, no. Oh, this is one of those split tracks. Okay. I think the AI is really confused here. Oh, go over the bump. Okay, up the inside. Looking pretty good. All right. There's one AI car ahead of us. Oh, wow. Get sideways. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Turn around. Yeah, I wish we had a power slide button. That'd be nice. Move out the way. Okay. We are, uh, we're really slow right now. Wait, you can actually fall off the sides? Where does that go? Like, do you die or? I don't know, this is a really dangerous track once you think about it. Uh, also, I'm finding that tapping the brakes in the corner or entering the corner does throw the cart sideways. So that's pretty decent. Okay, going up through here. Oh, uh, cut up the inside. I wanna get up inside of you. Uh, shove them out a little bit. All right, that's one circuit around here. Oh boy, I don't know if we can catch the leader here. We're gonna try. Uh, might have to get a little risky. Oh, wow, that actually does feel good when you tap the brakes. Like, that works really well. Uh, also, can I cut this? Dude, we just took a shortcut. Oh, we're in first now. That worked out really good. <laughs> okay, so the shortcuts do work in the game. Nice. Okay, I got to drift around here a little bit. Nice. All right, coming up through here. Okay. Uh, I think we're almost through. Oh, there is a, is that a body? Yep, there's a body on the track. That's something I thought I would never see in a Mario Kart. All right, here we go. This is the finish. Oh, the AI is right on us. 
That was actually a pretty competitive race. I'm pretty impressed there, but we got the win. All right, we've got time for one more race. So we're going to use the FGT40. And you know what? We're going to go around the old Gran Turismo track, the high speed ring. I feel like this would be a good race. Uh, so three laps. Uh, we'll go ahead and just match them all to our car. And uh, let's do this. All right, here we go. So yeah, if you guys want to see more of this pack, there's still a couple cars we haven't covered. And you know what? We can mix and match it with other mods. So uh, let me know what you guys want to see. But wow, uh, we got a really good start there. All right, so the high speed ring uh, is a fake track from Gran Turismo, but it's one of the coolest tracks ever in a video game. Uh, I love the uh, little high banked corners it's got here. Uh, okay, yep, understeers a little bit, but not too bad. Hey, this is a pretty clean race so far. Uh, not all of the AIs died. Okay, here's a heavy braking zone. Yeah, all the uh, corner. Oh, we're gonna end up in the stands. Okay, we need to uh, reset there. Oh, oh, that is a massive crash. Uh, okay, Han, this is like Days of Thunder. Just go through the crash. Okay, uh, we just went through a couple cars. It's fine. All right, so note to self, you can fly out of the track. Uh, that was not a feature in Gran Turismo. All right, so on going up here. Yeah, most of the corners are high bank except for this one here, but you got another one that leads back to the main straight. And then I'll be curious as to what kind of speed we get down in the first corner again. We are really far behind. Uh, on, ooh, that was close. All right, so I think we're almost to the main straight. It's been a while since I've played this track. Oh, there's one more big corner. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, they're dying. Oh, there's all sorts of carnage and death. Okay, it's fine. On, go up the inside. Hey, at least we're making up a lot of spots. Okay, here we go. This is the main straight. So what kind of speed are we going to see down in the first corner? That is a good question here. Uh, here, let's go to the outside. There's no draft in uh, Wreckfest, unfortunately. All right. How much do we have to let off? It's pretty banked. Okay, we're wide open. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at those moves. Oh, okay. Understeer, understeer. And it gets a little sideways. All right, that was worth it. All right, this corner we might want to break some on. There we go. Uh, kind of remembering the layout now. I just know that the first corner is just really distinct. And just depending on what kind of car you're in in Gran Turismo is how wide open you can go there. Uh, okay, they seem to love the pit wall. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, up, oh, up, oh, outside, outside. Okay, outside. Uh, <laughs> we just took the lead. This is fine. All right, we are on the main straight. That would have been better if that was the last lap and that would have happened. Yeah, they seem to, uh, they kind of clipped the entrance to pit lane. There's like a little wall uh, that they love to just hit. Hey, here we are wide open in the first corner. Uh, we'll lift a slight bit right here. There we go. I'm back in it and got a little bit of a slide there, but that was beautiful. I love driving this track. All right. Pretty heavy brakes here. Uh, there's where we went through the uh, barrier uh, on the first lap. All right. Yep. I've got this down now. Okay. High bank corner one more time. Uh, everybody's pretty much dead at the bottom. There is some cars that are catching us, but you know what? It's going to be a little bit too late coming off the last corner. And we are going to get the W here. So definitely go check out this pack. That was fun. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.